Hello and welcome in our demonstration of Testwell CTC++ Test Coverage Analyzer for VeriFastSoft. Testwell CTC++ Test Coverage Analyzer for C and C++ is a powerful and easy to use cost test coverage tool, which shows the parts of the code which has been executed and then tested. Testwell CTC++ can be used on host as well as for measuring code coverage in embedded targets and microcontrollers. Its main benefits are very low instrumentation overhead, it performs code coverage in all targets, it works even with smaller targets and microcontrollers, and finally it works with all compilers and cross compilers. We will see how an executable code can be instrumented for analyzing its test coverage. Our example is called Prime, it's built for Windows PC using Microsoft Visual Studio. Prime is a simple program which is made of Prime.c, Calc.c, and IO.c, and the related.h files. You can see there. This program prompts for numbers and tells whether they are prime or not. We stop execution by entering zero for input. We have a make file for building the program, and normally we will build the program by issuing command nmake all, which is, let's say, the regular command for building a program using Microsoft Visual Studio. But instead, we do the build with CTC by prefixing the make command with CTC++ options, such as CTC wrap minus or dash V for verbose, dash I and MTI in order to produce some melting condition coverage and inclusive timing and then our regular compile command. This will lead to uh, go to the compile and link process and then we will get now the prime executable program and other uh, symbol files which will be used uh, later on. So let's use now our program and and test our inputs. So for instance, 1, 23, 666, 4, 18, 223, 3, and it ends using a 0. So now on top of the files, we got a data file, which uh, uh, consists of uh, the, the results of the uh, execution and uh, the execution profile listing. Uh, but instead of having a look uh, to this uh, using a textual report, we will um, view it in a uh, web browser with some graphical uh, links and uh, uh, display information uh, uh, easier to read for us. So in order to produce this uh, uh, report, uh, we'll use a CTC post processor and taking for input uh, our symbols files, our data files, and then process it uh, going towards our post processor CTC to HTML, which will convert uh, the data to a graphical uh, information in, for instance, here in Internet Explorer. Uh, and you can browse uh, various information such as directory summary file summary by default, a function summary, untested code, and execution profile. So here, for instance, we can have a look and understand why we, we don't achieve 100% uh, uh, code coverage. Uh, for instance, we have two uh, lines which have not been executed and tested by uh, CTC by entering the values uh, when prompted by uh, Prime. Uh, so for instance, let's fix this one. It's line, uh, we see that we got two and three different values which can be used. And in red, we can see that the first one uh, well, needs to be false and the second one needs to be true. And we don't care about the third one here, actually. So that means that if you want to uh, check and test and execute this line, we need to put as a value of two for prime. So let's do this. Go back here. Launch prime again. We put two. 
and 0 to exit. And let's uh, again see the results in a graphical uh, web browser. Okay, so we increased uh, the uh, um, test uh, effectiveness uh, uh, ratio to 90%. And why? It's simply because we, we now covered uh, the last uh, line we just see as an error previously. So we increased the value by uh, putting more execution code by running more uh, live situation in our execution. Okay, this is the end of our presentation and demonstration. Uh, thank you for attending. And if you want to have more details, please visit our website uh, verifysurf.com. You will see all uh, information about our, our products.